Here we go. Here is our first match of the top eight of the War of 04. Liam Williams versus 2018 World Champion Robin Schultz. Gorbis versus Magma. Okay, Kara. Gorbis versus Magma in general. How do you think this matchup goes? Well, I think in general, a you know these these Magma Pokemon have a lot of HP. They only give up they only give up one prize, and they get that early aggression. So that those are all scary things if you're Gorbis. But the flip side is, you know, th this uh, this Gardevoir deck can power up energy and play so quickly. It may be set up like multiple one shots, so that can end up being really really formidable yeah the fact that liam is able to flood the board with energy in a way that other gorbis decks can't i think that allows that like you said that explosiveness especially in the early turns we'll have to see how that fares now so we haven't really talked about it but liam has really been preparing for this tournament recently and in particular they published an article a couple weeks ago about their thoughts on the 2004 deck building meta and in particular liam is very much in favor of playing dual ball instead of Dunsparce. We see that Liam played one dual ball and flipped one head, so all they get is a clan pearl and pass. We'll have to see how this no Dunsparce strategy ends up paying off here in this top cut. Yeah, you know, I definitely am a little bit really striking run against against uh, Magma because if they start if they start laying down that pressure fast, it can be really really hard to. Um, Get your footing so we'll see how this goes for liam i want to mention this is a this is a match between two very decorated players you know um we know of course robin schultz the 2018 world champion um but liam williams has um some results to their own name as well most most notably a top four finish at u.s nationals in 2016. wow Sweet. so Playing, playing that uh, Darkrai Dragon's deck. So perhaps skill is a factor regardless of the format that you're playing as we see these successful players continue on their runs deep into this tournament. Now so we see an energy energy on the ground on, but we don't we don't yet have that power saver threshold met. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if if Robin can start linear attacking next turn. Let's see here. We got a dual, dual ball, ball again. Okay, one heads. Oh, one heads once again. Now, we notice that Liam played a strength charm down. I wonder if that might have been a misclick or something. Uh, going to go get the Ralts. Now, you notice that Robin does not have a Zangoose in play either. So, the Conspirator you know, just going for the, well, I think an energy and a Pokemon probably. I imagine so, yeah. Now, there's no harm in playing that strength charm down. Um, maybe, maybe just wanting to uh, have it down in play in case there's any kind of hand disruption that that uh, they're not predicting out of Robin. That's a good point. Yeah. Strength charm only goes when you actually attack, right? Exactly. When you when you actually deal the damage, it discards itself. Otherwise, it, it sticks around. That's so very we interesting. Are, we are going to get a linear attack that can knock out the ditto. I imagine that the, that uh, we might we might see that KO. Uh, we may see the Groudon pick up that KO just to uh, apply that pressure, get ahead in the prize race, and force um, Liam to make a kind of a suboptimal promotion. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, very <laughs> tough call for Liam. You don't really want to promote either of those Pokemon. Does go for the linear attack. Okay, and promotes the, the Ralts instead of the Clam Pearl. That makes me think that they don't have a way to get to the Gorbis, which has free retreat. So Liam is looking like they're in a shaky position, and this is... This is seeing like the kind of the flip side of um, of this matchup. If you have a slow start, you know this this deck can make comebacks, like we're uh, better than other Gorbis variants. But oh, it could be a little more suspect to uh, inconsistency, which we're seeing right now. That's an unfortunate tails on removal beam. That would have been so huge for Liam. Very underrated attack on that Curlia, by the way. I mean, we haven't seen Gardevoir until right now, but uh, Removal Beam, not bad by any means. No, if, if it had been a heads, it definitely could have bought uh, Liam some time. Could have gotten rid of that um, that special darkness energy, which is so crucial for dam for damage modification. Oh, so, yeah. If but you, we're just seeing... If you can knock out a Gorbis in one hit by having a 
pulverize plus two damage that is massive in your favor as magma when you're already somewhat favored against gorbis as is and speaking of pulverize we are geared up ready to go with that pulverize are we going to see it this turn or are we going to attack into something on the bench with a linear attack of course we could also see a pokemon reversal we can't discount that possibility if you have a reversal i'd love to drop it on that clan pearl instead just does the attack to the active another dual ball double heads now Double heads who needs stun sparse well we probably could have pulled this off about two turns ago if we had a dun sparse instead that that wouldn't have been as exciting <laughs> hey nothing's more exciting than coin flips in the pokemon trading card game right exactly that's why we're playing 04 with all our sudden flash flips well okay so we we are we are starting to get a, a real bench uh presence for liam now staring down that big primal groudon and a multi onto the clam pearl so we're getting there slow, slowly but surely yeah, we now see the Gardevoir. It's surely going down anyway, but you might as well power up into the Clam Pearl. And Energy Burst will do a respectable 40. That might actually start setting up interesting math for the future, depending on if Robin can get around having a damage grad on the active. So far, it does not look like he's able to pivot anytime soon. Yeah, not, not without a Briny in hand, which, I mean, he's got nine cards. You can have one. Yeah, Briny does not feel as good if you don't have Magma Switch. That's for certain. Yes, that is TV very true. Reporter instead. He's letting Groudon go. I mean, it's it's not guaranteed to get KO'd by any means. You'd still want to Pulverize, but it would be insane it, if you could have a fresh Groudon taking the KO. Yeah, but, you know, even still... Giving up a special dark, sure, but plenty more ground on where that came from. Of course, maybe uh, maybe Robin hits the played all and can save that darkness energy and um, attach a different energy instead. Yeah, we will have to see. Tails oh, on the ball. That would have been a big heads. That would have been very nice. I mean, Robin still has a pretty big hand. I'm sure that he's feeling decent about his situation right now he could definitely be in a much worse position yeah absolutely you know we're, we're talking like we're talking like Ro uh, robin's at a big disadvantage but robin is ahead on prizes and you know has two of those big grout on so robin's in a fine position right now yeah you definitely just don't expect to have simply one grout on with three energy in play at this point in the game you would like to have more going in your favor. How about a second Groudon with an energy on it? There you go. Already looking better. So probably just going to bash into this Gardevoir, right? Yeah, probably take the Pulverize Knockout. Got to get that Psy Shadow at, uh, off the board so Liam can't accelerate more Psychic into play. Yeah, you'd also be exposed to an Energy Burst KOing you if you did a Linear Attack. So Robin probably has to take this Knockout. Third Groudon hits the bench. Wow. But still no Claydol, still no camera. It's really unfortunate. All right, it's already four prizes to six, Kara. All right, but I don't know. I think I think there's a good chance we see that Groudon go down. The fact that they promoted that Clam Pearl makes me think we're gonna we're gonna see a Gorbis hit the field, and then we might see a Mystic Water, we might not, but we're definitely gonna see a Gorbis. Well, I don't know. He he promoted Clam Pearl and then played Copycat. Oh, you know. So, so digging for the Gorbis, then. Yeah, we don't know anything about what's in his hand right now. Double heads on dual ball. <laughs> okay. So that puts Who him in. Who needs Sun Sparse? Was that six for eight today? <laughs> Just in this game? Uh, yep, yeah, that is that is exactly it. 75% odds. Dual ball's looking pretty hot right now. You know, an advantage to dual ball over Dun Sparse is situations like this. Later on in the game, when you don't want to be doing strike and run if you can avoid it, it gets you pokemon to play without using your attack so i mean that's not a bad uh not a bad case for dual ball being made on stream right now and it's easier to burn it from your hand if you oh, we are seeing an down. attack but it is a bubble and it is a tails oh no. so we are once again seeing a sacrificial clam and that is most certainly going to eat a pulverize <laughs> your your puns are incredible Kara. but you're exactly right this clam surely is going down and well yeah yeah it's guaranteed but... ko but I wonder if Robin's going to have a window to maybe 
briny up this this Groudon and attack with another Groudon. That would be the absolute prime time for it. No, another TV, TV reporter. reporter. Well, I mean, we could we could see the uh, there's the camera up. Clay doll. Do we have a clay doll? Has played with it bated yet? Breath. Yeah, you think he'd slam it? So if you if you get the clay doll, are we're still attacking with this active Groudon though for sure, right? I I think no matter what we're taking we're, we're attacking. Yeah, it'd be it'd be nice if we could conserve the ground on, but I would I would not pass up this attack. Just goes to the bench. All right, well this ground on has special darkness. It is almost ready to pulverize. Okay, so three yep, to just six. Just to pulverize now. KO. I dominant lead so far for Robin. Yeah, Liam's probably not feeling too great about their position at the moment. Of course, again, this is best of three now here in top cut, so. Things will be a little different. We will not be done with this match just yet when this game yeah, we concludes. Ha we have another game, potentially two more games. Now, we haven't mentioned it yet, but I want to talk about what we see on the bench for Liam. There's a gloom there, which means there's almost certainly a Blossom. And I like Blossom a lot because that Psy Shadow is really powerful, but it does put damage counters on the Pokemon it attaches energy to. Having a Blossom to offset that is fantastic. Absolutely, especially against a card like Groudon, whose attack is increased if you have two damage counters on you. Yeah, so we have a, a good tech that ends up being pretty nice against the uh, the Magma deck. Yeah, there's absolutely a world where if Liam can... I mean, it, it doesn't look like it would happen, but if Liam could get a Blossom and heal this active Gardevoir, Energy Burst would KO the Groudon, and it does not look like there'd be a way to KO a fully fresh 100 HP Gardevoir in return. But we're not seeing that, so if we have just an energy on the Groudon, that Gardevoir is going down to a Pulverize. A whopping... Kara, 80 damage for 3 energy. That is absurd in this format. Yeah, you know, we're, that is the power of Magma, and there it is. We're going to see a huge Pulverize. You know, it takes some setup. It's not like you can do 80 damage on a clean Pokemon. Things were a lot slower in 04, but... At this point, 80 damage for three is looking pretty nice. Oh, absolutely. No question about it. <laughs> Another ball toy. Still no play doll. That's really interesting. Yeah, Robin has not played a play doll. We haven't really seen... Robin's played a couple TV reporters, but the supporter situation has not been incredible for either player, really. Liam had that Steven last turn. We'll see if it was enough to get him somewhere here. Now down two prizes to five. This would have to be a comeback for the ages, Kara. Yeah, I don't see... I don't know what um, Liam could possibly have to get them back in this game. Well, let's find out. We start with an underground expedition. <laughs> you know, I wanted to comment on that. That is an interesting choice of card here. I have tended to prefer it if I am either maxing out my TV reporters or I'm close to. I don't mind underground expedition. It's just you have to find ways to shuffle your deck in order to not get locked at the bottom. And a deck like Gardibus that can Psy Shadow whenever it wants and plays Dual Ball probably is shuffling its deck a lot more than most decks in this format. You know, personally, I've always just preferred um, just preferred TV Reporter to Underground Expedition. I know Expedition sees more cards, but TV Reporter lets you, you know, potentially actually keep three new cards and discard something you don't you don't need so much. So Stun Needle. And a Tails. Yeah. Very unfortunate Sun Needle. And that, now we have a second Special Darkness Energy that Pulverize is hitting for a raw 70. That is not looking good for this Corvus. That Corvus is going to go down. Yeah, and I think this game's over. <laughs> I do think this game is over. I don't think there's anything Liam can have, except for maybe some really, really dramatic flips out of a Blossom. But I I mean, just that, that board is built. This is, This game is... Well, Blossom Robin's does. For the taking. Blossom does three for fifty, <clears throat> so it will one shot a a guard, Groudon. The question is, does nope, Robin have a fire for the camera up? So this is the plan: solar beam. Here we go. And yeah. uh, this is going to be a lone Blossom in a dream right now. Who All does right. Robin promote? Uh -oh. Just the camera. Up. That's not good. An energy. And there Boom. it is. There it is. Game one goes <clears throat> to Robin Schultz. Really, really dominant performance by that uh, magma deck a world champion playing a world champion's deck and playing it like a world champion as well that was incredible oh, absolutely now 
Game two will be coming up here in a little bit. Kara, do you think that game two was Liam just unlucky or is this how things are going to look in game two? Well, Liam did have a slow start, you know, and, and that can't be understated. Liam was kind of like got those dual ball heads, but they were later in the game after a couple of less impressive dual balls. Liam did not explode out the gates with a bunch of basics. And that's really like if, 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 Liam's doing that, I think it could look like a very different game. Well, we'll have to see how it looks. This time, Robin opens with Zangoose, and Liam opens with Clam Pearl. Just going to attach the energy and use, well, presumably going to call for family at some point here. And there it is. All That's right. That's a good start. That's a good start for Robin. That Zangoose is a great attacker. Absolutely. Get the ground on down okay. nice and early here. We see there's a good chance that Robin maybe doesn't have a handful of energy. Putting that special darkness on a Zangoose. Good point. Who doesn't who doesn't get a benefit from it. So, you know, maybe, maybe not, but Robin might have just that one energy in hand. And now on Liam's side, how many dual ball he got in that hand? Yep. Moment of truth for dual ball. Zero. Another slow start here for Liam. Very unfortunate. We'll have to see what Robin's got in those seven cards. All right, so Robin now onto his second turn oh, gets to play his first supporter. It's a conspirator. No energy issues today. No, Magma never has energy issues. You get to play conspirator and you play fourteen to sixteen energy anyway. It's uh, it's pretty incredible. Now there's a chance. Maybe not a great chance, but a chance we see a team play knockout. Oh, we're, but we're not. Another call for family coming down. And I think you're okay with that if you're Robin. Liam has another slow start. Of course, because of the explosiveness <clears throat> of that Gardevoir, it's still possible to get a Mystic Water next turn. And uh, let's see. If you had to knock out the Zangoose, that would be difficult. You would need five Psychic Energy on the board next turn. Oh, no, four because of the Strength Charm. So it's possible. A lot to ask still, though. Gorbis, Double Rainbow, Rare Candy, Gardevoir, Psy Shadow will do 70 damage. <laughs> That's a lot to ask for out of four cards. I'm sorry, five with the top deck. Five with the top deck. Who knows, maybe there's a copycat waiting in the wakes. Or perhaps a <clears throat> Underground Expedition. Or maybe a Steven. We'll see how many Pokemon Robin benches. So we got a... Magma Ball, we got a Heads and a Nummel, and now a Call for Family. I'm going to guess we're seeing a Ball Toy here. Curious, There's the Ball Toy. Curious who Robin got off the Magma Ball. We'll have to find out. Yeah, you know, Mag um, because... Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Desert Ruins pass from Liam. Initiative over to Robin. Now it's okay. quite plausible for a team play KO. And we are we are guaranteed team play KO. Uh, wait, no, we actually uh, need another basic. Yes, we do. Exoskeleton. We were saying at the beginning of the show. This Steven's device for two. He's digging for that KO. And there's oh! the there's the Nummel. KO guaranteed. That's world champion play right there. <laughs> it is. He he knew what he needed to get, and he did what the only thing he could do to get to it. Uh, I'm sure Liam is sighing dreadfully after seeing that Steven for Nummel. Lone Ralts. Five cards, tournament life on the line, Kara. Top four in contention yeah, he, right now. Liam needs something right now, or this game is over. Are we seeing a hypnosis? Oh, I don't want to see it. Oh, we are. And that's it. A hypnosis and a heads. The game is over. Oh, Robin how unfortunate. Takes a dominant, dominant win in top four. And it's just that easy. It's just well, that what easy. A, what a what a match. Congratulations to Robin, commiserations to Liam, and congratulations for making top eight with Gardevoir Gorbis. I think a deck that most people were not expecting to see today showed off its prowess in Swiss. An unfortunate end to the run here in top eight, but an incredible choice for this tournament. I'm eager to see how this decision may influence the future meta of 2004.